Uh, hello YouTube, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Asheshe in Nogun State. So since our last event, I've, got, I've received a lot of suggestions from you as to things we should do to make sure that this doesn't happen again. So I'm very happy that we're trying to follow them. So let me respond to the first few things. One, we're putting a smoke detector with an outdoor bell or gong that will ring once there is smoke or anything that happens. Number two, a fire suppression system is in the works, and the fire suppression system will use powder instead of gas. The reason why we're, we're you know, the reason why that's going to be chosen is because of the way the room is done. It's not airtight, so the, ga the powder one will work better than the gas one. And finally, this door, we've suggested a metal door with, a gla with glass, see-through, so they can see inside if something is going on. Now, one thing you suggested is that we go and revisit all our connections, and we have. And guess what? All these were loose. Some of these were also loose. And if you see, some of these have tripped. These are SPDs. So we are going to visit. Is it possible to reset, or do we need to replace them? So you see the positive side that tripped. So this one tripped. This one is on neg negative side of the trip, so I can't explain what the logic behind that is. This one tripped on the positive. This one tripped on the negative. And we've checked and we found some of these were loose. All of these were loose. I can't explain it. Um, on the AC input side and AC, AC output side, a few were loose. And I'll show you one that failed. Um, you can see here's another one that tripped. Um, here's another one that tripped. It seems to happen more on system one than it happened on system two. And then here is the one that uh, caused us a little bit of uh, consternation. It turned out on the 7th, or was it the 9th? The 9th, this stopped seeing one of the phases. There are three phases, and it wouldn't charge the battery because that phase was missing. I sent someone here yesterday to look. He didn't find what the issue was. So what happens is, once the grid comes in, it doesn't see the phase. The inverter doesn't do anything. You have to manually start it in order for it to do what it needs to do. Well, guess what? This was what the problem was. We're very fortunate that the cable broke as a result of heat. And some of the heat had already been trans, transmit, translate, transmitted to the cable, and it started to melt. And the cables right next to it were also melt, were warm enough. But I'm thankful that what happened over there did not happen here. So we have decided to make this part of our routine every month, and they have to come and check all our connections, tighten things, because it seems as no matter what our best efforts are, some of these things are going to come loose. If there are suggestions you could make as to what we could use, should we use ferrules? And we had used ferrules, I don't know what we did use them in this case. Or any other suggestions you have, please share them so that we won't have cables coming loose anymore. Um, here is system two. As you can see, they're all intact. Oh, there is something I didn't show you. Here is a failure here. Scary, isn't it? And this is 600 volts right here. So that's very scary. We're going to remove it today and then get a replacement breaker for it. But system two didn't seem to have suffered as much as system one on the DC side. So it's work in progress. I thank you all for the suggestions. Please don't forget to give me a like. It seems to matter to the algorithms at YouTube. The likes seem to drive uh, what people want to see on my channel. So please give me a like. Um, if you like what you see also, please make a comment in the comment section telling me what you liked and what you like to see. So hopefully I've covered what everyone has suggested. Oh, one final thing, the particle board. Yes, we're going to do that. I agree on the particle board. Going forward, every installation we do, we'll do particle boards. We're going to do it here. Uh, but it will involve us taking the system offline while we're getting it done. But we'll put um, particle board or sheetrock all the way from that point to this point. It's very easy to do. And hopefully that would help us manage fire incidents. Again, once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Manchester in State. Thank you for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe.